Today, we're diving deep into the mysterious, suspense-filled world of The Watcher. Yes, you heard me right. The Watcher Season 2 is confirmed. But what does that even mean? And is it happening? And what should we expect? Stick around. Because I've got all the tea, theories, and everything you need to know about this twisted tale that had us all sleeping with one eye open. Let's goo up. First, can we just talk about how The Watcher hooked us right from the start? It's not just a show. It's an experience. Perfect mix of Ryan Murphy's genius and Netflix's mastery at keeping us glued to our screens. I mean, who doesn't love a good true crime story with a splash of suburban horror? That ending. Ah. Uh. Frustration. The chills who else felt like flipping their couch upside down when the identity of The Watcher was left you unsolved. Yeah, me too. But don't worry. Flick a fam. Because season two is officially a go. Netflix green lit it faster than you can say creepy anonymous letters. But here's the kicker. There's almost no news yet. Yup, Nader. Zilch. Except for a few crumbs dropped by Naomi Watts. And I'll get to those juicy details in a sec. So, what do we know? Let's start with the basics. All right. So here's the deal. Netflix didn't just announce the Watcher season two on a whim. No? No. It was part of a big double whammy. Alongside renewing Murphy's other mega hit, Monster Netflix declared that The Watcher would return for another chilling season. But get this Naomi Watts, the star of season one, recently said in an interview, I don't have an update. I wish I could. Like, wait, what? Naomi, girl, don't leave us hanging. Does this mean you're out? Are we getting a whole new cast? Is this even still about 657 Boulevard? These questions are piling up faster than the creepy letters in the Brannock's mailbox. But if you know Ryan Murphy, you know he loves an anthology. And that brings us to the B.I.G. question. Will season two even continue the Brannock story? Let's break it down. Season one gave us the Brannock family, a fictionalized take on the real-life Broaders family, trying to survive the nightmare of 657 Boulevard. From the eerie neighbors to the private investigator, to that cryptic watcher who was never revealed, it was a roller coaster. But here's the thing. The show pretty much covered the real-life events. If the story continues, it's all going to be fiction from here. If Ryan Murphy's track record with shows like Feud or Monster is anything to go by, he might just pivot to a whole NU story. Like, imagine another suburban nightmare, different family, different house, same spine-tingling suspense. Would you guys be into that? Let me know in the comments below. Personally, I'm on the fence. Part of me needs closure on the Brannocks, but another part is like, bring on the fresh scares. What about you? Now let's talk casting. The Watcher season one was stacked with talent Naomi Watts, Bobby Cannavale, Jennifer Coolidge, absolute icons. Am I right? If season two goes anthology, we might not see any of them return. Tragic. And if we do get the Brannocks back, there's still the question of Theodora Birch. Spoiler alert. He didn't make it to the end of season one. I pee pee her and her sharp sleuthing skills. But the rest of the cast is alive and kicking. So, could they reprise their roles? Or will we see Ryan Murphy do his usual thing? and bring back the same actors in entirely new roles, like an American horror story. The possibilities are endless. Okay, Flicker fam, time to put on our tinfoil hats and dive into the theories. If season 2 sticks with 657 Boulevard, maybe we'll finally get answers about the Watcher's identity. Like, is it one of the neighbors? A previous resident? Or, plot twist, someone from the Brannock family themselves? Undone duong. But here's another thought. What if the Watcher becomes less about the WHO and more about the WWIY? Maybe we'll dive deeper into the history of the house. Was it cursed? Haunted? Portal to another dimension? The spooky vibes are endless. And if it's an anthology, then the sky's the limit. Maybe we'll get a new family, a new house, and a whole new set of chills. I'm talking creepy basements? Haunted attics? Let's get weird, people. Let's be real, season one was a hit, but it wasn't perfect. Critics had their issues. Some said it dragged. Others weren't happy with the liberties it took with the true story. So, season two has to step it up. We need tighter pacing, bigger twists, and an ending that actually answers some questions. And Netflix knows the pressure is on. Shows like The Watcher have to fight for attention in a sea of true crime dramas and horror anthologies. But if anyone can deliver, it's Ryan Murphy. Love him or hate him, the man knows how to keep us talking. So here's hoping season two gives us everything we loved about the first season and more. So, there you have it, everything we know. Everything we're guessing, and everything we're hoping for the Watcher season too. It's mysterious, it's thrilling, and it's coming eventually. What do you think? Will it be another Brannock nightmare? A brand new story? Drop your wildest theories and thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you don't miss any updates.